watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty e tank and be the first to watch the episodes. Hi! Welcome to Heat Wave. It's the kids and seek of a podcast that's kind of about video games. I'm joined with Brittany Saturn. Hello. At the hip. <laughs> and Jairus is somewhere on the internet. Uh, oh, just He's floating surfing. and lurking. He's I'm surfing, surfing. on the keyboard. <laughs> oh, God, don't make... No. And then we're also joined by oh, Chris. It's flip. the Hutch Hutcherson. Help, I'm stuck in the World Wide Web and I can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> He's just stuck in like a web of information. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like the Matrix uh, thing with all the little ones and zeros and like shit coming down. Yes, I remember that scene. Yeah, he's stuck in that. <laughs> that Guys. iconic scene where shit just came down. Uh huh. Do you feel like with this setup, with the quarantine setup, which is just me and you on screen right now, do you feel like we're a high school like news reporter? Absolutely. I feel like every time. <laughs> so it's like the beginning of that uh, Spider Man movie, except not as good. Yeah. So if exactly. you two were mm-hmm. a high school news broadcast, which segments would each of you take? I would um, talk about the lunch menu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't remember what we talked about at the new, at the high school news. And, uh, I, I, I would probably just be like national days and how they correlate with like school holiday things. That's not a thing. Because you know I would do that. <laughs> oh, you're saying you would just make that up? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could see that. Michelle I'll, would I'll, try to do hard-hitting journalism, but then just like lose interest halfway through. <laughs> you will th- my fa- we would actually had that in my high school because we had like three uh people get fired for pedophilia so that was fun oh god oh yeah three of my teachers in the same day just kind of vanished wow and one of them was my pe teacher at the time wow what did you guys do for pe we, we 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 had a pe- <laughs> we had a I pizza mean, party how would you even like, i'm not shitting you they came in with a pizza party absolutely. for everyone well, sorry that mr so-and-so diddled y'all but here's some free pizza <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> God, rather than so, so being sorry. active <laughs> let's be the opposite of that good old mayberry <laughs> knowing myself so in how's high school i'd probably do <laughs> like a segment on the best places to smoke around campus Mm. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd mislead the authorities, knowing that they were watching the newscast. Perfect, I like it. The, the authorities being the school resource officer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, weirdly, at my high school, it was also the gym teachers. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Wait, they gave the gym teachers a gun? No, 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 no. They were the ones <laughs> oh. that tried to find kids smoking Wait, because they had the excuse least me. to do. And they didn't have Did to, like, your write school resource plans. teacher have a gun? Yeah. No, they're, yeah, like, they're cops. pretty sure he did. They yeah, but he was a cops. legit like sheriff. Yeah. Yeah, like our school resource teacher was like someone from the sheriff's office and he definitely had a gun. He had a gun and a taser. He tased a kid my senior year. Yeah. Whoa. Mm, we didn't also, have a uh, learning disability exact... child who was triggered in a situation <laughs> and Christ. rather than talking the child down, he just tased him. Yep. Guess Showed the race boss. Of that kid. Not white. Ah, yeah. Yep. Pretty high. Pretty high that it's not white. Well, this is a fun way to start the episode. <laughs> uh, Jairus, what are we talking about today? Like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Listen, minutes. we're all quarantined. <laughs> Nothing is happening. Like, things are happening. Let's not pretend yeah. that things aren't happening. Okay. Yeah, but, but it's like, like off topic shit. We're, we're tr- well, it depends on how you qualify off topic. Like, early on, we agreed that we wouldn't talk about the fucking pandemic as much, but that's no. 95% of the news right now. And yeah, yeah like, I yeah. don't give a shit. I've gone out of my way to not learn how elon musk pronounces his child's name because yeah. i just don't give a shit so like yeah i think i'm gonna say about how do we even come up with things to talk about like how like, it just so oh my my cat did a funny thing earlier it was like that's the that's the kind of content i need so that's it was, <laughs> as of today of recording today is mother's day And I called my mom today, and we talked for an hour, and it was great, but the only things he could talk to me about is how much he hates Trump and all this other bullshit. (laughs) And 
And hey, first at least all, that's the place. At least she's not talking about how much she loves him. Oh, she also told me about she voted for Pete Buttigieg, though. But um, <laughs> and I was like, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> Out of I, all I of the like options, Joe Biden. But I think he's too old and too spicy. Basically, basically, <laughs> I need a mayonnaise version of Joe Biden, <laughs> one who's definitely not going to get a sexual assault charge because he's gay, at least not from a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to let that linger. Thank you, thank you. It was, I I did too, and I was like, I was please, like, everyone else here just also let it, feel like let Michelle live in that place of uncomfortable it's, silence. It's like when you make a steak and you have to let it rest before it's delicious enough to eat. Uh huh. Yeah, you had to let, let your let, statement. Just you know what? I appreciate rest. that. You had to let a good joke steak rest. Those juices stew. <laughs> It's oh, a butter man. basted bad joke. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, it's yeah. really hard to find like what to talk about right now. Like you were saying earlier, um, there's no external stimuli right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Other than just like, oh, people are perishing. <laughs> um, or people are being really dumb and going out in the streets and like spitting on each other or whatever they do with those protests. Yeah, um, yeah I don't know. It's like, okay, well, I've been sitting on my couch for the past month. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, that was well, the like, best best thing that happened recently is we, we redid our living room, and we have spent all waking hours in our living room just watching memes. That's what me and Brittany have <laughs> been up to. I mean, that's a good way to live. <laughs> it's just been fantastic. Yeah. I, um, I've been watching my uh, neighbors across the street. Um uh, beautify their front yard and make their Ooh. house look super nice. Uh, yeah. And then mine's just been a dumpster fire because I don't want to go outside. I thought well, you, you were going to the... go a, a rear window direction where you were just watching your neighbors to see, like, to try and figure out if they had or hadn't murdered each other. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I mean, used to... I could. When, when I, I mean... lived there, that's what I did. I just would watch them. I'd make up stories about them. Yeah. Mm. But that couple moved out, and then a lesbian couple moved in. Yep, I met them, and they're, they're, they're well. I met one of them anyway. Show off. <laughs> She's really nice. They both. Yeah, they really are nice. really nice. My favorite I was the neighbors. Met any new people <laughs> in in months? Aren't, aren't you like like required to stay in your house right now because you're like ultra susceptible? Yeah, I have yeah. the part of my immune system that fights infections suppressed. So I mm-hmm. definitely need don't like need to not get this infection that will probably kill me. Yeah, I, and honestly, like that's the most terrifying thing about this. Like I joke, and I honestly, for the most part, I feel like things are okay. Like I'm getting paid still, so yeah. and I'm in the house. Whatever, I can work from home. Things are okay, but well, like I'm just yeah. waiting for like oh the person I know who's dead now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's, I, I hope mean, it's that's not. another uh, layer on top of it is that like all four of us are very goddamn lucky that we are, mm-hmm. that we still have money, like yeah. that we're, mm-hmm. that we're yep. still getting paid. Um, my lady friend and I were talking the other day and she, <laughs> she made a statement like, yeah, it feels like the world is paused. And I was like, yeah, it, it does to me. Um, Mm -hmm. and then my brain started spiraling into that existential dread place of like, oh, but not everyone gets the, like the gets to have it just pause. Yeah. Yeah. For for some people, it has gone backwards for, for some people, reality has slid into, and that's just the point where I start like getting really sad. And thankfully I have. Yeah. Like when you see like someone's like, oh, all of your shit's on fire right now. That sucks. Mm. Like <laughs> it, it really does. Um, I have a few friends who are furloughed indefinitely. We have yeah. like so many people are on unemployment right now. It's a lot of people got unemployment, but are still waiting for mm-hmm. it to come through. Yes, like yeah. they haven't actually gotten the money yet. So, um, yeah, which is real great. You know, it's really easy to pay your rent and buy groceries with imaginary money that might arrive eventually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, uh, spe- uh, after I've been watching a lot, a, a lot of documentaries about how like the rest of the world is handling this versus us <laughs> specifically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have stayed away from that. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but they're usually like bite-sized content. Uh-huh. Like uh, Vox Media, for example, is just like, why does the U.S. have massive unemployment when the U.K. doesn't? And yeah. and like they were comparing social ne- like social systems. safety net. That's yeah, that's basically part of the answer. It's okay. I mean, it really is. But I'm just like looking around. I'm just like, huh. It, on top of that, though, we also have a bunch of like weird uh, bureaucracy around the COVID testing shit. Right. That is not the case around the world. That's yeah. been a lot of fun. Yeah, um, John Oliver was just covered like, that one. Mm-hmm. Here are the standards for testing. Everyone, go and test everything. Yeah, and honestly, like the uh, the vaccine, whenever it is accomplished and uh, past human uh, trial testing, it's probably not going to come from our country. Well, because that. Uh, and and here's a secondary nightmare that I've been been pondering. So like every time a virus jumps host, like it's mm-hmm. it's evolving, it's mutating, it's changing. Um, mm-hmm. That will also happen when the seasons change. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And that it already also- happened. It already happened once. The UK, like the European and North American and South American uh, continent has a mutated version of right. COVID-19 than the one that it started at. Ooh, wonderful. <clears throat> and it's it, it, it's why it's like supposedly like even more susceptible. Really? Uh-huh. Hmm, I didn't know that. So that's been fun. That's a, that's a new discovery in the last like couple, like I believe the last week or so. Yeah. Just we're all news. fucked. Yeah, it's good. It's good times. Hey, <clears throat> so and that's why we can't think of a topic. Yeah, because we're all just like, oh fuck, am I gonna die? Or are the people I love gonna die? Mm-hmm. Uh, what is gonna really, happen like long term? Like, yeah. are we gonna have food? Or are we gonna like? I don't know. Just who the fuck knows? I just want to see my mom and dad again, but I don't know when that's gonna happen. Yeah, but. We're lucky enough right now. We actually have Brittany's uh, little sister staying with us, uh, which started this weekend, um, oh, which nice. is nice. We have a so we have someone new to talk to besides me and Brittany. We're yeah. just like, <laughs> cool. We can drive this other person insane and not each other. <laughs> yeah, we traded her off the other day. Um, I figured she could be in quarantine at our house just as easily as at her house. So at least it gives everybody something new to talk to or mm-hmm. do or whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just COVID rotations. So, yeah. yeah uh, well, I mean, it's a, it's a thing that's happening. I'm seeing a lot of families where, like, like a lot of kids are, like, going to their aunt and uncle so they can hang out with their cousins and stuff like that. Mm. So, I mean, and, like, it's a tiny risk, but if it helps with, like, overall mental stability and overall, like, staying, yeah. like, in quarantine, it's – that's whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I have a coworker. He has two small daughters, and their neighbor also has two daughters of equivalent age. So they're mm-hmm. just treating like their two houses as one, mm-hmm. like quarantine community, like one one nexus or one hub. Mm-hmm. That makes um, sense. And I I think it's an interesting idea. It's just like the the number of people that you can can. <laughs> if one person gets compromised yeah. then the whole unit yeah. gets compromised yeah. yeah it's unfortunate like how much risk are you willing to take for like a sanity uh, like thing so it's definitely a balance um, like I know we're dealing with that at work with having only so many people uh, mm-hmm. being there at a certain time and, and even two still teams. like I have been volunteering and going in a couple days a week but it was still like two or three people um, tomorrow it's going to be up to like six mm-hmm. including myself so that does make me more nervous mm-hmm. you know um, but we are required still to stand six feet apart we do have masks to wear um and they do also i think there's like some gloves too that we have stockpiled at work for us to wear Mm -hmm. but it's still like okay well hopefully nobody gets sick you know because you're gonna get everybody sick and we won't know it for two weeks that's the other scary thing about this whole thing is like 
we don't know for two weeks. <laughs> so, I mean, I've, uh, it's been about two months since we've been in quarantine for uh, for most of us. And I, w- what is bothering me the most about the whole thing is that when I go outside and I'm like interacting with like I go to the grocery store or something like that, it definitely feels like the end of the fucking world. It feels like a fucking like uh, apocalypse movie that's about to start. Well, my problem right now is that I feel like because people obeyed quarantine for maybe like a month or two Mm. and because they were in quarantine, nothing happened. They haven't been getting sick. So I feel like at this point, people are starting to let their guard down Yeah, and they're going out more frequently than they should be. They're not wearing their masks. They're not staying away from people. And I think that comfort zone is going to get us all in trouble. So oh, that's what I'm worried about, too, with them reopening the state. I know it's just in phases, but still, I think it's like people are like, oh, I don't know. Oh, like, there it's was under a- control. It's yeah. over. Yeah. I had a coworker the other day who was like, I don't know anybody who got COVID. Do you guys even know anybody who got COVID? And I was like, well, no, but that doesn't negate the fact that it's out there and that it's well, dangerous. We, <laughs> one, that's we don't know. <laughs> yeah. We don't know. Yeah, and there's no testing. I, then- I know... Um, a number of people that have gotten it and they've all said that like it's like it it's one of the absolute worst experiences they've ever had yeah so it's like reading what they've had to say and and they and one person has said that like they've still had like lingering like kind of effects from it Mm -hmm. um so well jerry's your sister had it too right well, and the, has yeah, her taste is, and smell came back yet? Um, yeah. So my sister lost her sense of taste and smell for mm-hmm. a week or so after okay. she got over it, um, and and it's come back now. Okay, um, good. But that's at a very unfortunate terrifying. time, <laughs> she made a giant uh, thing of like a, a a giant pot of beans that she was mm-hmm. going to eat for like a week. Um, uh-huh. and apparently she burned it and she didn't taste it because she couldn't smell her taste. And then her senses oh, came back and she was like, ah, fuck, I screwed these beans up. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's kind of funny, though. <laughs> but part of the thing is it interacts with different age cohorts in different ways. It, it interacts mm-hmm. with different groups of people in different ways. So like there is no single unified set of symptoms associated with it. And that's part mm-hmm. of what makes it mm-hmm. terrifying because a lot of it is just like, oh, you feel like shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So are you feeling like shit because you've got allergies or you have like a light cold or are you feeling like shit because you've got a thing that might kill you? Yeah, and that's that's really terrifying, especially with the just like random sicknesses that people get just because on they're alive. Mm-hmm. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and also with allergy season, too. Yeah. Yeah. I've been I've, avoiding being outside. I had a couple outside. of times where the back of my throat, I was getting like drainage and my throat was hurting and I was getting the sniffles and I was like, oh, fuck, I'm dying. Like, <laughs> which any other time, any other year, it, I would have been like, oh, it's allergies or I'm getting right. a cold. No big deal. But now I'm like, oh, God, am I getting sick? Like, have I caught it somewhere? But it was just allergies. But it like freaked me out, you know. Every and, time I open a window or walk outside, I regret it. Mm hmm. Mm. That well, fresh air uh, uh, just burns your skin. <laughs> yeah. That pesky oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> that vitamin D. <laughs> so, like, moments like this have been actually been really beneficial for me. I've just, like, had, like, moments of brevity with random friends on yeah. the internet. And uh, go ahead and give us a little bit more time if we want. But, um, yeah, it, this it honestly. Decisions. Yeah. This this has been the uh like the lifesaver for me. So it's being like, yeah, this sucks with random people, and that's been helping quite a bit for me. Um, I, I haven't we haven't done the movie thing for the last couple of weeks, but we should probably get back into that yeah, too. We should do that this a uh, week. So <clears throat> I would um ever since this has started, like my sometimes my sleep schedule gets kind of wonky. Uh, mm-hmm. it's never been more wonky than it is right now. Like, yeah, I, I have, uh, been kind of sometimes going to sleep or falling asleep at like three or earlier and then waking up at nine or later. And then 
This weekend's bad because I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's been good, but it's also been bad because I've been playing it from like midnight to like 10 a.m. Just, mm. just grinding the shit out of it. Yeah, like yesterday I woke up at 6 p.m. and I was just like, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, well, there's more Final Fantasy to play. I, I can't say anything. I've been going to bed at like 11 o'clock at night and then getting up at like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning and then staying up for like nine hours and then taking another four hour nap in the middle of the afternoon mm. so it's it's, like, it's so weird how not having half. yeah it's so weird how not having like a proper structure in your life really kind of like mm-hmm. affects you like it mm-hmm. has with us i'm surprised that hutch is experiencing that because hutch has worked from home for years on mm. on like less of a set schedule so i thought you'd just be like yeah whatever well, you still have like all the schedules of the people around you too, though. Um, like I, my yeah, my I sleep guess, schedule I guess was. I've f- only I've always regarded Hutch as other like other people schedule agnostic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hutch doesn't give a fuck about what you got going on today. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of love that 14. phrase. <laughs> I want that nap. I want to take that nap. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more like. <laughs> <laughs> I want that on a shirt. I want that nap. I'm gonna take that nap. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 um, every time I like walk through my bedroom, um, I see my bed. And my bed's <laughs> like it's, it's been extreme. It, it, it's, 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 it's your been, best like, friend. It's always there for you. It's kind of like the equivalent of uh, Britney's comfort, like uh, no, um, a weighted blanket. Like yeah. it's comforting. <laughs> it's comfortable. Um, yeah, it's like an unweighted blanket. And it puts blanket. me right to sleep. <laughs> also, I just miss hugs, and the b- beds are the closest Smart. thing to it. Yeah. I hug you all the time. <laughs> I know. But you're not... I need other hugs. Okay. <laughs> like, like uh, getting Brittany, spooned, but by a bed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, actually, that's something I didn't realize about myself until this happened, is that uh, I hug everyone. Yeah, and, and I miss you it. You're like, uh, 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 yeah, it's very awkward. <laughs> That's been really weird for me. It's like I want to hug everyone, and I like, nope, <laughs> not yeah. happening right now. <laughs> yeah, this is a weird timeline. <laughs> yeah. We're on the weird one. So, do we think it's because the simulation is breaking down? I don't know. Let's ask Elon Musk and his like Jargle son's name. Do you think <laughs> Jargle um, son? If the do you think aliens have sperm? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I would what like to. <laughs> I have a video game trailer for you. Okay. <laughs> what? That's where you go. What? <laughs> yeah, you you've seen it. It's called oh, Scorn. God. Oh God! And it's yeah. Sh- show her that uh, between episodes. <laughs> It's so yeah. fucking weird. We're, we're gonna have to show. Th- so there's so many layers to this joke right now. We're gonna have to show that to Rachel too. Nope. <laughs> Where's Rachel? Where's Rachel? Uh, well, I feel like we've covered this topic enough. All right. Bye. <laughs> well, bye everybody. Bye. I need a drink. <laughs> I need a drink after that. Spermy comment. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe.